Big ass screen. No weapons past this point. You probably want to change. Go on. Your gears you in the might want to take it a little easier when you escape next time. Hello? Anybody shooting in here? Agent Thornton. Hello. Hey. Hey, you're the one I spoke to when I woke up in the medical bay. <sighs> Glad that wasn't a hallucination. It may have been. Do you remember my name? Or do I need to write it down for you? Mina, right? That's right. Good to see you've recovered from the medical room with your memory intact. Memory intact? Speaking of which, I don't remember where I left my keys, or my passport. Confiscating personal items is quite routine. I wouldn't worry about that. But let's get down to the task at hand. I'm here to run you through the weapons training and test your accuracy. All right, what's the next step? Just head through the door to the firing range, and I'll keep in contact with you over the earpiece. Head over to the table, get your weapons, and we can begin. The standard field agent package includes a pistol, SMG, shotgun, and assault rifle. Each has its strengths and weaknesses. Let's start with the pistol. Equip the pistol, then aim down range and take some shots at the target. Good aim. Now, steady your aim for a few seconds, then fire. Precision shots can take down a target quickly. Almost. Now, let's move on to the submachine gun. Now let's empty the clip. Let you get a feel for the recoil. Now take cover. Still using cover, take some shots at the target. Accuracy is terrible while firing blind, but it can get the job done. Now try popping out and focusing your aim. You can use cover to your advantage here. I've unlocked the door to the tactical range on your right. Let's see how you do against some moving targets. Now, with the pistol, you'll want to be patient when targets get close. Now 
for your submachine guns. If you're trapped in close quarters with multiple opponents, the SMGs can help clear the room quickly. Not subtle or quiet, but... For long-range encounters, the assault rifle's the key. It's accurate, powerful. Just be sure to line up your shots carefully. Watch for attackers from above. They may be out of reach, but not rifle range. The ladder, head up and back, all done. Good, Mike. I'm logging the results now. All right. Is somebody out on the course? Darcy. He's trying to beat your time. Darcy? Who the hell is that? Our tech instructor. Very insecure. Well, how's he doing? Not well. He's distracted. Why? As soon as he knew you were talking to me, Mike, he was in here in a second. In case he saw you as a challenge for my affections. It's like a cage match with you boys. Am I? A challenge, I mean. If you have to ask, Thornton, then there's your answer. All right, let's see here. That's one of the most impressive scores I've seen. With that in mind, you did so well, I'm wondering if you'd be up for something more challenging. A bonus round. This course is a joke. Did you scale it down for that jackass? I could walk the rest of the way. Jackass? Now I'm hurting. So will Darcy. Did I mention we don't use live rounds? They still sting, though. I'm listening. Go in there. And if you can hit Darcy where it counts, that'd be worth a recommendation in my report. And worth some rep with Westridge. And it'd be earned. Sure, sounds good. Any preference on weapon? These targets are pretty easy for someone to hit. Thornton could have aced this thing blind. Give me the gun. Let's start with the pistol again. Don't worry. We're using tranquilizer rounds, so you won't be doing any lasting harm to your targets. Besides, the turnabout is fair play. They drugged you, so... You're all done. Head on back. All right, let's see here. Well done. Critical hit. I don't think I have to worry about Darcy coming by again. Anything else I can do? No, Agent Thornton. Mission accomplished. If you haven't seen Westridge yet, you may want to pay him a visit after all the training is done. You've certainly aced this exercise. Our war does not end here. This target is not the last. With our will and our resolve, Al Samad shall continue these attacks, fight the aggression of the West with its own weapons. Yes, for weapons have been delivered to us. Weapons that will make a graveyard in the skies of our enemies. We 
we have the ability to strike far and to strike swiftly. There are no limits to our reach, no limits to the justice we bring in the name of freedom for our people. I am a man of my word, and this I promise you. This attack is but the first that Al Samad brings against its enemies. As fire rained down upon us, so shall Al Samad bring fire to your people as well. The West and its allies shall bear the cost of what they brought to our people, to our country, and they will answer for it. You seek to take our land, undermine our faith? All that you have seen this day is the answer to your brutal acts, the only language America understands. I am a man of my word, and this I promise you. This attack is but the first that Al Samad brings against its enemies. This is a restricted area. The vending machines are down the hall and to the right. I'm here for espionage training. Westridge's new recruit. Good. There's no time to waste. So, orientation. You are familiar with the premise of an obstacle course, I assume? Yes. Excellent. And I don't need to explain. Up the ladder is the training area. The first test is navigating through the environment without being detected. Following that, you'll be facing live challenges against the agents here. Anything else I should know about running this course? Yes. I suggest you do it quickly. And talking gives your position away. What's the deal with the security panel? It secures the entrance. If you're as capable as Westridge says, then you should have no trouble hacking it and gaining access to the course. Clock's ticking. Great. Course begins now. Hack the door in front of you to gain access to the course. Always check your surroundings for cameras. We can't have you appearing on the nightly news. Mind the gap. The key to stealth is timing. Pay attention to camera movements, then exploit their blind spots. evaluation your score is based on several factors sorting the numbers now outstanding well above average especially for a trainee okay do you want to run it again no I don't think so very well I'll log the results 
Westridge can complete your evaluation once you finish the other tests. Anything else you could share that might help me out? I feel like I've already got the basics down. Of course, not enough of a challenge for you? No. Then I have an assignment for you. This one won't be locked. What? You mean like a covert training op? Aren't you guys carrying orientation too far? Nothing of that alpha protocol is orientation, Agent Thornton, despite the semantics. The penalty for getting caught, however, won't be a poor score. It'll be detention. So, are you up for it or not? Well, I'm up for it. Let me see what you need. You want me to head back to the medical center? Why? What's the file name? Jacob. Not only will this be a much more practical use of your talents, but I think you'll be curious to see where in the world you're going to be sent. Any other intel I should be aware of? Nothing you can't find out on your own. We aren't even having this conversation right now, and the clock is running. Got it. Area's off limits. Use your PDA if you're turned around. Are you waiting for clearance? Go ahead.
Orientation's not mandatory. You can turn around and go back to Westridge right now. Although that might make him upset. Did you do as I asked? Got the data, no problem. I'll download it from your PDA. Were you seen? Not that I know of. Yeah, well, then that'll have to be sufficient. Now that you have this file, huh? Anything you can tell me about my real assignment? You go into the Middle East to recover stolen prototype missile technology. Your probability of success is in the lower 20th percentile. Wait, I'm going to the Middle East? I've downloaded intel onto your PDA. That should prove useful when you reach your destination. That intel you gave me, why wouldn't I have that already if I'm going on the mission? That is a good question, Agent. I would find an answer to it when you can. If not here, then in Saudi Arabia. I don't like the sound of that. Good. So when am I shipping out? After you finish your orientation with Westridge, it's customary for him to outline in a slow and plodding way his expectations for you. Then he'll send you to fetch, like a good dog. I'm not sure I like that comparison. Yeah, well, none of us do, Agent. But such is the nature of the kennel you've been put in. Was there anything else? What do you actually do here? My primary role is intelligence analysis. But at times, I serve as a handler doing sensitive missions. So you've been on a lot of Alpha Protocol Ops? Key ones, yes. I was involved in the events leading up to your assignment, in fact. How? I took on the role of a contractor, an accountant. Money is one of the easiest ways to track events. It often leaves the best fingerprints. So you're a spy? Mm, I'm an observer. I rarely take action. But the smallest event, if analyzed incorrectly or acted on improperly, could have great repercussions. And that's where I come in. To interpret events. Like butterfly wings sparking a tornado? That kind of thing? Spare me the butterfly cliché. Guerrilla actions, nuclear tests, exposing a corrupt politician, a rise in grain prices, and... Yes, the downing of an airliner in the Middle East. All of these things have the potential to create larger catastrophes. Okay. Controlling the repercussions of these events, getting agents the information they need to put fires out before they rage out of control, that is my job. So when I'm in the field, my orders come from you, or another analyst. My job is, what, to listen? Yes. It's a numbers game. But decisions must be made quickly. If the decisions are solely reactive or passive, well, then you operate at a disadvantage. So sometimes you create events. For political equilibrium, yes, at times. At other times, to give America an economic advantage. I thought we were mostly mission-driven. We are. But even you will see the effect that even seemingly minor interactions have on the structure of a mission. Carry the logic one step up, and it shouldn't be hard for you to grasp. You like working here? My responsibilities don't account for that, nor should they. You know, I actually thought you were the janitor when I arrived. That would either be an insult or an excellent deduction. I'm guessing the former. I was actually just trying to make conversation. But why would that be an excellent deduction? Because, Agent, Alpha Protocol can only maintain plausible deniability as long as no one knows we exist. That means continually cleaning and scouring data, masking our communication lines, and protecting our global positioning. I understand. That must be a full-time task, and an important one. Agreed. Even Westridge would say I hold the most important post in the facility. So, in short, yes, I clean up after others, and if necessary, I'm the one tasked with shutting this program down. Shutting it down? Turning off the lights, putting up the chairs, locking the door. What does that mean, exactly? This place cannot be found. If Alpha Protocol is compromised, any evidence of the program must be deleted. But what happens to the... I mean, is there an escape route, or... What happens? What do you mean, Agent? Be specific. I dislike dancing around an issue if one exists. What happens to the program? Seems like a waste of resources. You are correct. If ended, it starts again under a different name, with a new agenda. You sound like you've done this before. If I have, it's classified. Or perhaps I'm joking. Are we done here, Agent? 
I think I've answered all your questions. Some of them, yeah. The others can wait. About time you got here. Guess you were too busy laughing it up from the weapons range, huh? You got me good there. Yeah, sure did. So, you're supposed to be teaching me something? Or am I supposed to be training you? I'll be your instructor for this exercise, yeah. I'm glad you finally showed up. Thought you might have gotten lost on the way here. Or were too busy beating up some more guards. Neither. Just surveying the area, actually. Checking out the facility. Yeah, sure. Oh, by the way, not a good idea. Hitting the guards, I mean. The ones here have a lot of time on their hands, and that means a lot of time to hold grudges. I'll keep that in mind, but I wasn't expecting to be drugged and attacked. A good agent's ready for anything, Mikey. But enough chit-chat. We got a lot of work ahead of us. Well, you do. I'm mostly here as an observer. I'll be doing your evaluation, too. What's that out there? Used car lot? A target range for you. For me, more like a shooting gallery. Head out the door there and we'll get started. All right then. Open the locker and equip yourself. If you use them all, just come back and grab some more. All right, everyone's favorite, grenades. Let's see that arm of yours, go on. Start checking them. They're concussion rounds, so don't be skittish. They sting, not kill. something more challenging. Try a ricochet to hit the target behind the wall. Lob it behind the target and use the wall for a hook shot. Now, try and get one through the window. Now for some fireworks. Try and chuck one beneath the truck and take out the gas tank. Never get tired of that one. Now, see that electronic lock there? You use your EMP grenade to shut it down. It can save you time in the field. It's shut down. No more lock. All right, see that locker there? Let me guess. You want me to place one on the door? Nice, and just in time. Hey, Darcy, open up. Guess some of the other guards will be pulling double shifts for a while. Know those guards you beat up when you got out of medical? Yeah, well, they're gonna be joining us in a second. You've got a head start, so if I were you, I'd set an ambush and just start running. Me, I'd use the mines. That's what they're for. Just give me first shot. Hey, Thor! Wait up! Sneaky bastard. Doc's gonna be pissed. 
All right, all done. Head on up, Mike. I'll give you a breakdown on your performance. So, Mikey, you did all right on the basic run. You know, that performance wasn't half bad. Almost as good as my record. How about we up the stakes, take this to the big leagues? What do you have in mind? All right, me and the guards, who you already met when you woke up, pooled our petty cash. And we'd like to make you a little bet. All right. I'm listening. It's a rematch. On our terms. It's simple. Disable all the alarms and escape the area in the time provided. And you take home the winnings. If you lose, you'll owe us. Got it? Sounds good to me. Just head into the range and we'll get to it, Mikey. All right, then. Tell your team to get ready. So here we are. Rematch for you and the guards, but on their terms. So listen up. There's alarms hidden all over the course. All you need to do is shut them down. But the guards are going to try and reset them. Every time an alarm goes off, another squad's coming in. And they all want a shot at you, trust me. Alarm goes off enough times, and you're going to get trampled. But you have the technology to beat them. So let's see even the odds, if you can. Trying to get back to the medical bay, huh? Yes, yeah, sir, you go to location three. Sick of hearing him, man. They might have you for a second. Guess I was wrong. All right, head on up and I'll call someone in to clean up the course and the bodies. Pretty thorough. Made a real mess of things. In a good way. That's all I need. See you in the field, Darcy. If you say so, Mikey.
You guys must have spent a fortune on the TVs in this place. You all done? You tell me. Now you're learning. I have to admit I was worried whether we'd be able to keep you here after you woke up in medical. You gave our staff a run for its money. Maybe it's their training that's in question, not mine. Fair enough. It'll be a good excuse to up the morning drills around here. Looks like you did well on the tech portion of the test. Very well. Past Darcy's bitching, there's some real compliments in here if you look at the numbers. Mina's report on your weapon skill was impressive. In fact, I think you outperformed many other guards. And it's your first day. What can I say? Top of my class at the academy. If you read my charts. You did read them, didn't you? Oh, I did. It was hard getting through the pages detailing your overconfidence. Well, as long as you read the charts, that's all that matters. I'm a little surprised Mina was paying attention to my firing skills at all, actually. Careful. If you get any more full of yourself, not even this facility will be able to hold your ego. And here's a surprise. A positive evaluation from Parker. On the number side as usual. But he actually took the time to write a sentence. He did? Uh... What was the sentence? You may have been right about this one, Westridge. For Parker, that's high praise. Assuming you don't let us down, Mike. Looks like that's it for the physical evaluation. Now for the hard part. Tell me why you're here. Not everyone gets chosen for this line of work, but you volunteered. Usually, we have to ask. I want to serve my country. And you think by being assigned here is the best way to do that? Give me a mission and I'll prove it. What makes you think you're ready? Because I tell you, we get a lot of recruits in here, and you're not convincing me. My opinion isn't important. Yours is. Not out in the field, and not when you're dealing directly with others. Then your opinion is all that counts. Beyond the guns, tech, and sneaking around in the dark, there's one last part of this job that nobody else here quite gets. I'm listening. Good. Because listening is a large part of it. The way you talk to people, your attitude. That's what we're going to discuss now. I'm not sure I understand. Is there something wrong with how I deal with people? No, believe it or not, you're not here because you're a people person. You're here because your psych profile says you're skilled at manipulating others. Was that a compliment? You'll see. The way you project yourself definitely affects what people think of you. And your reputation with them. And if I want to impress them? You don't always want to or need to. Having a good or bad rep with someone can actually gain you different benefits. Sometimes you want to piss someone off so they can't think straight. Other times you want to build a strong rapport with someone and talk your way out of a bad situation. All depends on your objective. This goes for your handlers as well. We're going to be sending you into a lot of dangerous places. And your only backup is going to be who you're talking to on your headset. How you treat them is going to have an effect on the success of your mission. So if I piss them off, I'm screwed? No. A handler that likes you too much and puts emotions before the mission can be just as dangerous as one who resents you. This is a long way of telling me that I should just act the way I want? And if I compromise an asset in the field by choosing the wrong path? No, again, there are no bad choices, just results. Over time, folks may hear about you and your attitude before they meet you. They may have a preconceived notion of how you're going to treat them, which can affect their reaction. Well, maybe they should take the time to know the real me. If only. Time's something no one seems to be able to spare, especially during a conversation. Although that can be a plus. If I need a breather to assess the situation, right? The clock doesn't stop when you're speaking to someone. So if you need to get your second win before a fight, making small talk can buy you time. But if I'm running on adrenaline, won't chatting take me off my guard? It can. So if you need to get to the point, act instead of fight. For example, if you don't think I have any more to teach you, then you could just say, I'm done with this. I wouldn't think any less of you. You seem to have the basics down. I'd rather skip the pep talk and get started. Fair enough. Meet me in the command center, and I can give you a proper mission briefing. Good. Because I'm sick of this room. Trust me, Mike. If it was up to me, you'd never see this interrogation cell again. Recognize him? That Sheik Ali Shahid, the voice of Al Samad. They say he was responsible for shooting down that airliner in the Middle East. Yeah, he got his hands on some prototype Halbeck technology. 
a missile with a multi-stage targeting system called Jacob's Ladder. That airliner was his first target. Halbeck? I've run across them while I was touring the world. They don't exactly keep their hands clean. How did Shahid get his hands on that missile? Missiles. He's got more. He stole them from Halbeck and we need them back before he gets any more trigger happy. Then we want you to kill him. Understood. But if the opportunity presents itself, should I take him alive? If you can. Either way, we want him out of the picture and away from any more taped broadcasts. If I can bring him back here, I will. All right, then. Pack your gear. You're heading to Saudi Arabia. Not coming with me? I'll be there in spirit. And on video and radio when needed, Agent. And I just got here. Oh, well. I'm gonna miss this place. I doubt it. I'll contact you when you reach Saudi Arabia. Care to explain how Halbeck lost its missiles? Old news. An accounting error. The missiles. You didn't lose them, did you? Angry, Mr. Thornton? Because of what happened in Saudi Arabia? Mike, can you read me? I'm getting lots of interference. I made it to Saudi Arabia, sir. I'm at the safe house. I guessed that much. See any shadowy agents in trench coats at the airport? No, sir. I don't think so. That was a joke, Mike. But stay on your toes anyway. Finding Shahid is your primary objective. Trouble is, we don't know his location. But we have three leads. An arms dealer, Nasri, is believed to have sold the missiles to Shahid, and he's currently operating in Saudi Arabia. If you can intercept him, Maybe he can tell you where Shahid is, or guide you to the missiles. Do we have anything else on Nasri? Nothing more than what's in his dossier. If you can manage to make any contacts and find out more, we'd welcome it. We also tracked down the location of an airfield Shahid used in the past. If you can sneak in and plan a listening device, we may be able to track flight Shahid is using to move through Saudi Arabia. And the third lead? We've got the coordinates of an al Samad detention camp, also used as a stockpile for weapons. We suspect the missiles may be stored there. Is there any way to be sure the missiles are there? Not at this time. The area is dug into the side of a canyon, and getting reliable satellite imagery when sandstorms aren't blowing has been almost impossible. We'll want you to go in alone, recon the area, and shut down their radar and communications. Once that's down, we can call in air support and hit the camp hard. No pressure. And no backup. Get used to it. It's the job. You check out your new home yet? It's got some perks you might be interested in. Anything beyond the weapons locker? Thought that might hold your attention. It did? Anything else? A computer with a hub connection so fast you'll feel like you're going back in time. What, to the Stone Age? Please. You can do dossier research, encrypted emails, and if need be, access some of the weapons dealers in the area. That'll be done on your own dime, however, using whatever funds you can find in Saudi Arabia. I understand, sir. We wouldn't want Alpha Protocol tied to any weapons trafficking in the Middle East. Exactly. The weapons locker you already found? Help yourself to what's inside. Just be sure to choose the ammo and armor you think suits the mission. When you're ready to head out, just use the front door, or access the missions from the main terminal. I'll have already uploaded all the mission specs to your PDA. You can review them at any time. All right, so is that it? Westridge. Great. Home sweet home. 